Hello there guys, welcome to video number six, I believe this is, on the outer worlds. Uh, we've just sorted out the problem with the radiators, so we're now going to have a little bit of a chat to, uh, to Pav's lovely girlfriend in here. Well, I think, think she should be. Howdy doody. You've returned, and in one piece. Colour me impressed. Right, I've got the parts for the radiators, now what now? Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticular infestation. Rightio, not a problem. <coughs> right. <laughs> I was thinking this. I've got your parts. Why do I have to do some maintenance? Uh, but, in fact, I'm just going to say I'm on my way. See you later. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Yay, we've leveled up. Right, this is good news, because it means it's an even level, which means you get to choose a perk. Now, you have to have five on Tier 1 before you can go down to Tier 2, and there are two in here that I definitely need. This is one of them. Uh, which means that there's more stock available in the uh, vendors and things. And this is the other one. Uh, mine is 20% on vendor prices. So I'm going to take this one first. That's more important to me. Uh, so next time I'll take that. And then I'll be down here in these. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so let's uh, accept that. And let's have a look at our skills. Okay, where do we want to go this time? So. Let's have a think. What do we want? Well, we have been uh, trying to push this up to 60. It's currently on 48. Uh, we could take it up to 58. Actually, that's not true, is it? <laughs> we, if we put two points on here, that will go to 50, and then we have to focus just on this by itself. So I could put my two points on there like that, and then next time, put my 10 points in here to get that up to the 60 and use these eight somewhere that's going to give us a bit better boost. So melee, I'm really not that bothered about melee. Uh, I'll put some points on there later when I've got everything else that I want. Uh, weapons, I mean, I'm in story mode. How much more power do I need? So uh, defense, dodge and block. I don't think I need to uh, boost that too much just yet. I'm really liking that I've got uh, my dialogue skills all quite high. And they're all the same as well, so it's quite nice how they're all going up together. Um, let's have a think. I think we could possibly do with some more in here. <laughs> my sneak is pretty damn low. And hacking and lock picking is always very, very useful indeed. So we're going to put the rest of them... Oh, let me just check... Uh, science and engineering, see what I'm working towards in there. Right, if we get our engineering skill up, then uh, hmm, chance items you repair will become pristine, increasing value and durability. That's always nice. Break down weapons and armor for a 10% chance to extract a rare mod, that's nice too. Hmm. Right, tinkering cost for science weapons is capped. Uh, I mean, all this stuff in here is pretty nice. Apart from the third drug mixer slot, I'm really not bothered about that at all. But these two would go up quicker anyway. So. What shall we do? Where do we put them, just? Ah, might be a good idea to put this up. Companion crit damage, I'm not that bothered about that. So I do want to increase my medical science and engineering. But I also want to increase these. It's going to go in here. All of it. There we go, job done. We are sure. So let's go and uh, sort out the rest of these radiators. It's a good job I turned up on this ship, isn't it? They certainly wouldn't cope without me. Oh, I've got to go through the big double doors. Oh, hang on. Let's just uh, 
have a little peep at what's in here. No offence, but what big double doors? Are you talking about these? Alright, the direction we want to go is down there. So let's see if we can get down there by walking around. It is a little bit confusing where you've got to go sometimes. When the, uh, obviously the, um, the little marker, the green marker that's down there, that's not showing us where we walk first of all. I mean, I can't just go like this and walk to it. It doesn't kind of like go to a door, which is bloody annoying. She did say go through the double doors, which I did. But yeah, very, very frustrating when you can't find your way. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regular... It's looking pretty hot everywhere. Uh, what made that noise? I'm pretty certain I don't have to come all the way out here. That would be crazy. So, where the hell is it? And uh, when you say go through the double doors, which ones were you talking about? I hate this kind of thing on games, I really do. I get so lost. Can I just jump through this window? I've got a feeling I've got to go down there. Jumping through the window would be a lot quicker. Let's see if going down here does us any use, any good at all. Hey, Mr. Vicar. Do you ever get a little bit homesick for Edgewater? For that ocean stink? No, I do not. You're supposed to say yes, and go on to explain why. I just want to go look. There is an infestation. <laughs> of course. And plasma weapons take a long time to get there, don't they? Go on, guys. Go and kill some stuff. Earn your keep. Excellent hit! Is that it? Well, actually, all these things blow up, don't they? So I could have, um... Can we loot anything from them? Not today. And I do think there's another one around somewhere. There's something making a noise. Go on, then. You go and sort it out. It's up there. Here they come. Where? Where do they come? I can't see fuck all. I can hear it, but I cannot see anything. Right, let's go up the ladder and see if we can find whatever it is that's supposed to be attacking us. Oh, there you are. Right, you are. Well, I missed half of that message, but I think I've got to kill something. I'm quite happy with killing something. Oh, you bitch. That's so fucking annoying. Well, is this one going to be barred as well? Is there a way round? Hopefully. Hey, dude. Catch. One down. Well, that was uh, quite successful, wasn't it? A lot more so than my normal attempts at attacking things, that's for sure. And these dudes usually have a, a nice amount of quite good loot. Oh, nothing in that toolbox. I'll be unbarring that door before we go, just in case we need to come through again. Oh, hello. Have you not noticed me? Right, never mind. Have some of that. Oh, we got 
I think he must have been asleep. <laughs> oh, never mind. Well, I do make quite cute noises. Go on, Vicar. Slap him. Look at that. Look at that gun floating around. something else. There's another suspicious robot around somewhere. Right, there are two little red things in here. Uh, I assume that's beneath me, but I'm not going down there because that door's bolted, so I'm just going to head towards the, uh, the green thing instead of the red things. That's the way we're supposed to go, which is somewhere around here. Ah, just beneath me, so it's just down there. Aha! Uh -huh. Perfect. That's what we wanted. That's the terminal. I have the parts in position on my side. Go ahead and cycle the droplet pump. Go. Yep. You don't know what that means. Just look for a command that says cycle droplet pump. I think can do what? Cycle the droplet something. Unexpected. Here we go. Good with that armor. Nothing personal, I swear. Right then, let's uh, do the droplet thingy, Bob. Whatever it is that she said. Right, cycle droplet plumps. <laughs> plumps. <laughs> that was easy. Right, job done. Fix the radiators. Very easy indeed. Let's have a look at the logs. Right, cobbled together. The staff is getting restless. Work around and half-cooked solutions are all we've got to mend groundbreakers' bones. In many cases, we can't revive one system without cannibalizing another. Grandma lived with that reality, and so will I. I can rally our spirits, but what happens when I'm not around? Groundbreakers' real test will be seeing if our independence outlasts me. I'll take that bet. Right, old plans, new, uh, new problems. Uh, found some of Chief Goyings. I assume that's how you say his name, Old Somatics. Ground Pagan must have taken a beating uh, during the crossing because she spent half of her career patching it up. Lots of corners cut uh, when they put this place together. Right, okay. Right, return to route. That'll do. Done. The temperatures are dropping. Super duper. So we're not going to have lovely wobbly vision. Yeah, yeah. Right, our way out is through this door. Which is uh, a damn sight quicker than last time. Oh, look, we got this box as well. Very nice. Right, so what else do we have to do in here? Let's have a little look at our journal. Uh, happiness is warm spaceship, so we have to return. And we have this purchase a nav key from the Stella Bay. Oh, we need 10,000 bits for that. And we haven't got to the point yet where we can just make loads of money. Uh, return to the unreliable and track down Reginald Cheney. Victor Max has tracked Scholar to the rented domicile in Foldbrook on Monarch. Take Max to visit him. And Solution Vital. Talk to Dr. Wanda Dorset in Sick Bay. Well, I might get that one out of the way as well while I'm down here. Right, okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna go back and just finish this off, and then we're gonna do Solution Vital. So happiness is a warm spaceship, first of all. So we need to go up, which, uh, no, that's where we've got to get to, just through there, where we were before, before we started going around in circles. So we've got to find the lift. Oh, hang on, we've got some stairs. That's probably a good sign. Ah, no, we are, I think, going backwards. Right, we'll backtrack. Uh, some loot. Oh, I've already taken it. Oh, first person is too close. It's far too close. Everything's right in your face when you walk towards a wall. Now we're going down here. I'm 
pretty sure this is the way. What does this do? No, come on. Ah, here we are. I see you limping a bit. You all right, Mr. Vicker? Need us to slow down? What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. My uh, knee is just acting up. <laughs> There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicker. Don't worry. The captain and I will take care of you. I need neither your advice nor your pity, young lady. Uh, I think the vicar's got some sort of secret that we might find out later. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Let's see the advert. Tossball finances. Oh, not fucking Tossball. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Right, smashing. It just seems like I'm just going to fly around everywhere fixing everyone else's shit and fetching things for them, doesn't it? <laughs> well, that's roleplay games for you. Uh, well, let's have a little look here. Right, um, yeah, let's have a little, uh, find out some more about the board. So you don't seem to have a lot of faith in the board. You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power, and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Right, um, so how do you keep the board at a safe distance? I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. And then you could become the board. Right, what do we have? You must look like you'd um, Bedford very much either. I'd like to think of myself as a nice person. But if that gaudy embassy of his was on fire, I might hold my breath a moment before activating the sprinkler system. The board wants control over Groundbreaker, and leeches like Udon Bedford will do anything to please their corporate masters. I didn't mind Udon, to be honest with you. I thought it was all right. So, uh, back to our original questions. I don't need it, I'm on my way. Right, see you later. Right, you should be a better mechanic-y, engineer -y person now, Path. Now we did all that, that little side mission. We just did that for you. Not for anybody else. Right, um, we want to have a look at our journal and see what is... is uh, right, so the passage to anywhere is the one that is set. We haven't got enough money to do that. Uh, we're about halfway. Uh, I want to go to the medical bay one. Where's that? Solution vital. Right, Dr. Wanda in the medical bay. That's not too far away. I can't it's not Once again, it's down here, look. It's in this corner. Oh, these fucking things are so annoying. Just put the bloody thing on the door. Here we go. It's around here. I think. Where's the little thing gone? Right, the thing's in there. Let's see if we can get to it through this way. I'll do, mate. Oh, hello. Here's a safe. Right, requires rescue and go key card to unlock. I ain't got one of them, unfortunately. Let's see if there's one in any of these things. I'll have that. I think you get away with stealing stuff far too easily, and then if you do get caught, it's quite easy just to talk your way out of it anyway. Right, see what's inside here. Uh, nothing too exciting, but at least we get some experience for opening it, if nothing else. I want that key, I want that key. Look at all these. Right. Then if I kill that dude at the front desk, I'll be able to get it. How many fucking pickpocket people? Okay, go on quiet. No, it doesn't appear that I can. I just stick my gun up his ass. That's not gonna help. Right. Unfortunately, we ain't got the key. We don't look like we're gonna get the key. And we're also not in the right place. Oh, hello. Hello, little dudes. Right. I know I left all this junk lying around in the trash. That's not trash, that's money. And lockpicks. Some bloody idiot threw it all away. 
There's another one. I'll tell you what, I think I might get that perk where it picks things up without you being directly over the top of them. It seems like such a waste though, doesn't it? Such a waste of a perk, but bloody hell, it's so annoying. Alright, let's go and find the medical bay. I'm not going anywhere, you Here we are. You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Trenhill. I think he can. I am not making a scene. He can keep you out there if he wants. He just won't open the door for you. Right, where is she? Oh, that's not her, is it? Well, she's smoking. That, that looks healthy. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Right then, bloody hell. Right, let's have a read through these. <laughs> right, uh, Wheeler told me to tell you to get off his ass about your shipment. <laughs> Did he now? The mouth on that man. I swear his late mother'd be ashamed. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever gonna get my service mechanicals at this rate. Well, I could try to find him for you. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Oh. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Good. Outlaws is loot. No, I wasn't expecting to have to bloody go to an asteroid and fight people for her. I was expecting to just run some errands. And that'd be it. What are you up to, mate? It looks like you're about to torture somebody. It certainly does. Yeah, these are instruments of torture. These are not instruments of medicine. Right, let's have a little mooch about. Ooh, that looks like mine. Yeah, it is. Hey, I saw that. You saw what? What do you think you're doing? Just stealing things. I should dump you whatever I like. Right, I was just leaving as it goes. I don't have time for this. Good. Quarantine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, we're, we're having that. Oh, I can't even see it anymore. I'm in, I'm in uh, hidey hide mode, but I can't see it now. Right, I'm gonna have to stand up and steal it. Let's make sure that person's not looking. Quick. Yeah. Should we have that as well? Quarantine. See what's in here. You're sure, this is perfectly safe. Yeah. I'd rather not die early of an infectious disease myself. Don't worry about it, mate. We're gonna be fine. We just come here to get some supplies. That's all. You two are not wearing disguises. Ah, oh, you little bastard. What's this? To the last rats is on rotten time. Hi, Jesse. You whole headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? <sighs> she's a moody bitch. Alright, that's uh. I assume she's in quarantine then for some reason. Can I get to her from another way? No, her door is barred. I'll pick the fucking thing up. And this one. Right, we're going to run out of our disguise in a minute. I'm glad that you can walk through them so they don't block you on doors. That'd be bloody annoying. Right, we are no longer in disguise. So if anyone sees us, we're going to have to talk our way out of it, which I'm sure will be very, very easy. Stop. Hold it. Right. What do you think you're doing? 
going into the operating room. Mm. Keep your hands to yourself. It's too easy. Too easy. Right, let's have a look at these instruments. It's the same shit in here. I don't hold out much hope for the dude underneath there. Oh, this is a tad disappointing. I was expecting there to be something quite juicy in here that I could steal. Aha, right. You're an artist, Captain. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. I'm just going to steal all these things from the medical lab. I'm sure they don't need them. Thank you very much. I wanted that key card thing for the rest and go or whatever it was called. That's what I wanted. Oh, hello. Sneaky, sneaky. This is the simple truth. We are all molecular machines. The body is a collection of atoms. The mind is a consequence of chemical reactions. Therefore, our lives are predestined along a path that is only visible in retrospect. Life is fated and unstoppable. I don't know, Mr. Vicker. That seems like quite a leap. Oh, I was expecting there'd be some right goodies in there. Unfortunately not. Oh, only two energy cells, that's a bit pants. Oh, hello. Right, Squatter's Journal. I served on two corporate freighters before I got stranded here. Everyone's heard my sob story, but no one's listening. To then, I'm just background radiation. Wasn't my fault the captain decided to take off early. Wasn't my fault no one checked the cruise manifest. Wasn't my fault they replaced me with a full-timer. Now I'm filthy, bitless and bedless. Far as anyone's concerned, I'm groundbreaker trash. That's how I live, and if no one agrees to take me on as crew, I suppose that's how I'll die. Right, miserable motherfucker. Oh, hello, guys. <laughs> Are you having a poo competition? Yeah, good luck. My money's on PAF. PAF, PAF, PAF. <laughs> uh. Right then, we found the squatter's stuff. Uh, so we, is that it? We've got to go back the way we came. I thought this might lead somewhere exciting. I kind of need a torch, really. It's a bit dark down here. Hello, mate. Hello. Aren't they cute? Ah, you're leading me to treasure. Well, that's just rubbish. That's just rubbish, kiddo. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't know where I am. <laughs> Oh, I'm here, look, by the uh, the stop and go, or whatever it's called. How did you, mate? Still getting acquainted? Can't go wrong if you stick to the promenade. Right, uh, I want your card key. That's what I want. All right, see you later, mate. Uh, I want his bloody key. Well then, what's next on our manifesto? Journal, solution vital, find Captain Irion. Right, that sounds like it's uh, that's a bit of a task, so I'll be leaving that one for now. The distress signal, view the district. Uh, right, we've got to go to the ship to do that. We've got to go to the ship to do this. We've got to go to the ship to do that. And we've got to get a shitload of money to do that. So it looks like we're probably going to be heading to the ship. So let's pop on the just chat on the ship one. So we'll chat with Pav on the ship. And uh, and then we'll go from there. So... I, oh, for fuck's sake, that's a toilet. <laughs> right, which way is out? I'll try this way. No, nope, that's someone's quarters. I'll try... It's definitely not that way. I'll try this way. Yay! This is the way. Right, fucking hell. You don't seem to like traveling with us much. Well, why in the architect's name would you say that? It's just that you're real grouchy. Kind of all the time? 
He's not that bad. Grouchy. I'm just, just. Ooh. Hey, you got a second? What's going on here? What have you been doing with my ship? Hello, Felix. Hey, we don't know each other yet, but I'm Felix Millstone. I was in the middle of a little discussion with the local authorities when you passed me by. I noticed your ship in port. Got to thinking you might be looking for some crew, so I wandered by, just to take a closer look. Mm. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Right, my immediate impression of this dude is I don't trust him. He looks very suspicious. A little bit shifty. Right, uh, let's have a little look. You're pretty eager to throw in with somebody that you barely know? Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. What exactly do you do? <laughs> I've heard enough. You're hired. <laughs> uh, right, if you're trying to convince me to hire you, you're going about it all the wrong way. I have no idea yet what you do or anything. What are your skills? Oh, okay. Well, uh, can you give me a couple of pointers? Yeah, tell me what your skills are. Right, don't beg. Tell me why you need to be on my crew. Hey, that's good advice. I like the way you think, boss. Ah, I'm not your boss yet. Besides, not like there's a line of folks standing around hoping to get on your ship. I'm persistent, I'm eager, and I'm showing initiative. What else do you want on your crew? Well, skills uh, would be useful. All right, let's have a look. <laughs> I'm looking for loyal bootlickers. Flatter me like your life depends on it. Oh man, that's so awesome. Uh, I haven't made up my mind about you yet. How about an interview? Right. Oh, do I want this person to uh, to flatter me like his life depends on it? If I was a female character, I'd definitely pick that one. Right. I haven't made my mind up yet. What about an interview? Sure. An interview. That sounds fair. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask me anything you like. Oh, let's have a look. What's the value of pie? Uh, it's delicious. <laughs> pie and a triple kale crust. Maybe with a little cream on top? Classic. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, perfect, mate. You're fucking hired. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Oh, well. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. I mean, you knew the true value of pie. Uh, right, let's have a little look. Um, right, uh, we'll see you on the ship, Felix. I'm staying with Pav and Max for now. Actually, I could put I could put the vicar on the ship, put put Felix in my party, and then have a little look at his uh, skills and things. So I'll pop the vicar on the ship. You got a crew now, Felix. Right then. So now I've got uh, Felix in my party. Let's have a look at his skills. Jesus fucking Christ! Look at the size of his weapon. <laughs> What the fuck is that? Right, it's a grenade launcher. Holy fuck. Well, I use my hand as a grenade launcher. I just lob them at people. I like the look of this, look. Like this plasma cutter. It looks pretty fucking awesome, doesn't it? And the Montag. Oh, that's the thing I got off that dude that went a bit mental when I started stealing his stuff. And what's his melee weapon? A toss ball stick. Well, that's fucking ridiculous. Right then, let's have a look at your skills, mate. And uh, see what ammo you've got. Uh, armor. Right, you've got this. Uh, streetwear, basic. It's not bad though, quite like it. Uh, you can pop on goggles if you like. Uh, oh, this one gives you a sneaky sneak plus five. Oh, I could do with those. Engineering plus 15? Fuck it out. That's generous. Right, I'll be popping on those when I need them then. Uh, skills. Right, usually the first three are boring, the last one's quite interesting. Increase your Persuade skill when Felix is in the party. Let's have a look at these as well. 20% damage to carrying enemies, 20% damage to corporate military. Hmm. Well, I think, Mr. Felix, you are going to help my Persuade skills. And, oh, I thought for a moment that we had more perks available when that opened up. So thanks for that. That's very generous of you. Uh, let's have a little look at your, uh, your doodah. Right. That's all okay, I think. Quite happy with all of that stuff, so Felix, welcome aboard. Da, 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 da. Oh, hang on, botched? Why was this one botched? A few kindred spirits. 
Search Zoe's home for clues. Oh yeah, it was botched because I shot Grace in the face because she was an annoying bitch. I could still find Zoe though, couldn't I? And then shoot her in the face as well for being friends with the annoying bitch. Right. Botched. How dare you? How very dare you? Right, is this your shit? You might want to put that on the, um, on the ship. I think we're done here. Let's get on board. Let's get onto the ship and have a chat with Pav about the, um, uh, about June Lee. Seems a bit weird that I've got a torture on the ship, doesn't it? I I'm sure that however this conversation pans out, we could have had it, like, anywhere. It would have been fine. Let's have a look at these then. Science weapons have weird and unusual effects, but they also do damage. That damage increases as your science skill improves. Next up, every 20 points in a skill... Uh, every 20 points in a skill unlocks a new bonus or upgrade in that skill. Right then, come on, Pav, let's have it out. Let's have it out. Good. You're back. Not that I miss you. Ooh, ooh. I assure you, I am not capable of such emotional capacity. Hi, Ada. How are you? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I just wanted to say hello. Right. Uh, oh, I forgot I've got to do that. Hmm. What conversation were we having before, then? Forgive me, Captain. I would rather not discuss Alex Hawthorne today. I am feeling discombobulated. Was there another topic on your mind? Mm hmm. Are you sad when you remember Hawthorne? No, I am sure I cannot feel emotions. The memory has merely disrupted one of my processors. Glitches can be quite uncomfortable. It was my fault he died. Uh, I don't really think it was. I reckon it was his own fault for not moving out of the way of my landing pod. Right, we don't need to discuss Hawthorne directly, uh, but I was wondering how we improved your design. Captain Hawthorne attached 98.4% of the ship's processes to my computer, thereby giving me near total control. Hmm. I have been programmed to deftly calculate navigation vectors through asteroid fields while also operating our ship's toasters. Alex also taught me the concept of a personality. He was quite delighted when I crafted one in order to better engage with him. It was basic in the beginning. I want to know what the other 1.6%, it she just said 98.4, didn't she? So what what's the other 1.6%? What don't you control? It's probably these buttons look over here on the right. Uh let's have a little look. Um ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. right. Um I don't care about any of those. Right, that's it for now. Unless you've got a joke for me, we are done. Let's chat about something else. How can I be of assistance? Oh, you can tell me a joke. I fancy some entertaining. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? One of your brilliant jokes, please. How often do I make jokes about chemistry? Oh, you did that one last time! Very yeah, very periodically. You did it last time. Right, that's enough, Ada. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. Right, you are. See you later. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, indeed. Right, this is my Ada. Nobody touches our Ada without Tommy's say-so. Or we'll cut you, <laughs> you little bleeders. Right, where's, uh, where's Pav gone? There she is. Right, sorry about that. I just had to chat to Ada. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? My temperature? What the fuck are you talking about? Right, let's have a little look. Yeah, go on. So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Jesus Christ, you two, get a room. All right. <laughs> I right, get to the point. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. <laughs> oh, it sounds like she likes you. Yeah, she obviously fucking likes you with your pretty name. 
I don't know where it's leading yet, or f if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Well, perhaps I just weren't doing it properly. Right, hook up with June Lee. Become Scissor Sisters and everything will be fine. Right, uh, blah, 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 blah. Right, I'll say... I don't want to say any of these. I want to say perhaps you ain't had it any good yet. And that's why you don't like it. And perhaps she is the answer. Uh, do, do, do. Right, I'll say this. You're about the warmest person that I've ever met, so fuck that lot. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Jun Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm going to change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Read it, read it, read it, read it. Go on. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... who's Isabel? She's a three-way. That's who Isabel is. <laughs> well, that went downhill fast. Uh, you're looking a little bit rough. They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. Mm-hmm. They were close. That's past tensed, so not anymore. You're Isabel 2.0, Pav. I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Right. It doesn't matter. Past is past, okay? It doesn't even matter if the bed is still warm. Past is past. All right, let's have a little look there. Great idea, let's get pissed. Drinking solves everything. <laughs> the next time we're at the Groundbreaker, we're there. We're on the Groundbreaker. We've not taken off, we just got on the ship. Uh... Right, yeah, go and talk to her. I think it'd be a lot easier if you go and chat uh, with Jun Lee, who you seem to be quiet into being as we've only just fucking met her and we spent a teeny amount of time talking to her well right, anyway i guess go and chat with her about isabel maybe for you i start thinking about all the things she could say and my guts start crawling up my throat i'm full serious next time we're on the groundbreaker i aim to get a drink if i got to i'll do it on my lonesome but i'd feel better if someone i trusted was there you're quite cute when you scrunch up your nose yeah i'll get you a drink don't you fucking worry about it be much nicer if you got yourself a room though, instead of staying down here all the time. Right, anyway, uh, what's next? We've got to talk to the vicar about some something, haven't we? Right, uh, drink on the groundbreaker with Pav. Track down, right, well, we're not going there. We're already on the groundbreaker, so it'd be stupid not to do this, wouldn't it? Side quests, view the distress signal on your ship. Uh, find Captain Ironic uh, on Cecilia. Right, we're going to go and have a drink on the, um, the groundbreaker bin, is that where, that's where we are. I know we're on the ship, so I could do the distress signal, but we're going to listen to the distress signal, and then we're going to have to go to its coordinates, aren't we? That, it would be stupid not to. All right, come on, Pav, we are going to get a drink. Give you some Dutch courage. Uh, we're taking... Uh, should we take Pav and Felix? I can't remember what my perk is with Max. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll take Pav and Felix then. Right, that'll do. Right, increasing your inspiration skill improves your companion's attack damage. And increasing your determination increases their health. Right, my uh, inspiration and determination are well fucking high, so they should be nails. Pristine items are more than shiny. They have more durability and are worth more to vendors. Creatures take extra damage from plasma attacks. Auto mechanicals take extra damage from shock weapons. Auto mechanicals also take quite good damage from plasma and all, don't they? Oh, I can't bother to read these. All right, skincare facial mask. Energizing ointment. All right, let's go to the bar. We need to get, get some, um, we need to level up so that we can sort out our perks. Oh, hello, what? Down there. With the lights off, there are people unloading the ship. 
Wait, ooh, where? Probably another sublight contract hall. Could be drugs, could be bootleg eighth away cartridges. It could be mine. Alright, we'll nick some stuff. There's a lot of shit in here, look, we'll have this. Oh fuck. There's not at all, it's empty. We'll have that. Oh, but you bollocks did you see me? You're miles away. Come on then. What do you think you're doing? Stealing stuff. None of your business. Piss off. Right. <laughs> Whatever the fuck I please. I was just leaving. I don't want any trouble out of you. Oh, you're getting some. You're not getting trouble, I'm just taking your stuff. Oh no! My groundbreaking reputation is decreased. I wasn't expecting that. Bollocks. Well, I don't want my ground prager representation to do, go down because I want to get, like, super-duper discounts on their uh, vending machines and stuff. So I'm going to have to do something good now. Well, that's annoying. Right, I'll stop stealing stuff when there's other people around. Anyway. Let's go to the bar. Pickles, purple berry crunch, triple gel flakes, and purple berry flavored this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? This is how... Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Alright, let's try alcohol. Oh, don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Oh, we're drinking champagne then. Alright, let's have a look. Mm, I, I kind of want to do my perception skills. Let's see what else we've got. Uh... Right, you're losing the whole loosening up thing. How about a wine? If you really want to get pissed, whiskey, uh, whiskey, whiskey is efficient. I want champagne. She's paying. Right, okay. Fuck it. We're drinking whiskey. I'm drunk's what I'm aiming for, so I'll take your word on it. Good girl. Bottoms up. Whoa, easy there, Parvati. Maybe you want to work yourself up to whiskey next time. Fuck that. Oh, no, it's good. I'm, I'm fine. I just didn't expect it to taste like... Oh, propellant. Oh, stars, I can feel it settling. Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> Generally or specifically. Yeah, I was thinking that in my own head. <laughs> specifically. Definitely. Definitely specifically. Oh, oh, why did I drink that? I mean, just with Junlei. I don't know what to do about us. There is no us. You've only just fucking met her. Right. Yeah, okay. Start by telling me why your message has got you so unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything. Like, she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. What, this whole time? What, five minutes? <laughs> uh, she did say what was in the message, didn't she? Or didn't she? Right then, if there's more to it, what's the rest of the message? It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favour. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? Nope. But I'm quite perceptive. <laughs> perceptive. So uh, what is this really about? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Yeah, you do. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Correct. Right. Uh, du, du, du. Yeah. Whiskey. No more whiskey. Yeah, whiskey. I think another would leave me on the floor. Oh. Okay, then wine. Actually, if you mix wine with everything, you're going to be... You're going to... Right, if you have beer, now you've had whiskey, you're probably going to throw up. But if you have wine, you're going to have a killer hangover tomorrow. So which would you prefer? Vomit or headache? Vomit or headache? Vomit or headache? You're gonna go with headache, right? It's wine time. Gosh, that smells pretty almost. Like flowers gone a little off. 
Down it goes. It's got to be red wine, hey, that's, then. That's not so bad. Kind of almost nice, maybe. Hmm. There you go. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> what about me? Right, that would make no fucking sense at all. This entire dialogue seems to make no sense. It's like, we've only just met her. You don't even fucking know her. Right, what are you scared about then? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and she gets bored of me? Right, let's have a look at these then. Where's, what if Isabel is up for a freeway? Hmm, doesn't seem to be there. Perhaps they forgot to include that. Right, fucked if I know, I'm just here for the booze. There's an easy way to get answers to all these questions. Mm, yeah, this, right. I, I think I'm implying here, go and talk to June Lee. Right, there's an easy way to get answers to all these questions. Just fucking talk to her. Oh, there's nothing easy about, about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? What if she just speaks to you for a while and realizes how annoying you are and then goes back to Isabel thinking, oh, fuck it, you just can't make up your mind and you're quite frustrating and having a conversation with you is very exhausting. I mean, that could happen. And then you'd have to go your separate ways. Right. Right, there you go. You can't control how people react to you, even people you care about. What do you mean, Captain? I mean what I just said. Trying to manage other people's feelings is going to drive you crazy. So I should just be myself? Yes. You sound like my dad. It's sweet. Oh, that would be creepy. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. Well, we all have a dark place. Uh, let's have a little look then. So what? Who cares about your ungenerous thoughts? I bet they're the most exciting thoughts that you do think. Tell me some of them. I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be cold. I want to bring light to June's life. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Well, the first thing we need to think about is where we can buy a glow-in-the-dark vibrator so that you can bring some light into Junie's life. So what do you think then? Are you going to go and ask her out? Oh gosh, I, I don't know. You I fucking know. are. You should. Yes. Right, uh, let's see. Ooh, determination. Don't ask my opinion, believe in yourself. What does the booze tell you? <laughs> uh, yes, just fucking ask her already. All right, all right. There's no need to strip your screws over it. Okay? Okay, I'm gonna do it. Right when we get back to the shit. Ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, <laughs> for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. You know something, Parvati? You ought to come drinking with the crew more often. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. What, with this dude come we've on, just met? <laughs> right, so, we've met Parvati just because we was uh, trying to get a power regulator for our ship. All we've done so far is take off and go to the nearest space station. Whilst on the space station, we fixed some radiators and then we just met some dude who's joined our crew and now she wants us all to live together happily ever after. And she's fallen in love with someone that we spoke to for five minutes. Jesus Christ. It's like, this game really doesn't take its time developing character relationships, does it? 
Ah, I'll tell you what, if this was, uh, what's it called? Dragon Age. If this was Dragon Age, we'd be fucking in the tent by now. Unbelievable. Anyway, let's go and get your glow-in-the-dark vibrator so that you can go and uh, give some light. Oh, hello. He looks like my nephew. He really does. Especially from the side. It's the nose. Right. Hi, Vera. Can you, uh... A new face. What's your pleasure, stranger? What's your pleasure? My pleasure's Pinhead. <laughs> Any of the Cenobites. Those two twins that are quite sexy. Right. What's your pleasure? <laughs> oh, let me see what you've got for sale. Uh, well, if you're not a fan of Hellraiser, uh, then you'll have no idea what the fuck I was just talking about. But there you go. The guy in the shop that sells the little box, uh, his little catchphrase is, What's your pleasure? And he's a, he's a quite a peculiar little dude. And the little box is what opens up the world for the Cenobites to come through for another dimension. That's a fucking awesome film. I think, I think the, um, the, the Hellraiser trilogy... I'm just saying 1, 2, and 3, because after that it went fucking ridiculous. But 1, 2, and 3 are really good. 1 and 2 especially. Right. In fact, uh, I went round a friend of mine a long, long time ago, and we watched Hellraiser 2. It was me, a lad I'd gone round there with, and then this girl whose house it was. And the film finished, and we was like, well, we see you then. She goes, you ain't going. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean? She goes, I'm not staying here on my own now. And we had to sleep there the night because she was so fucking scared, just because she watched Hellraiser. <laughs> Right, it's more of a romance film than a horror, isn't it? It's like a love story. Yeah, it is. I've met the guy that plays Butterball, um, and he's a right little skinny dude. He looks a bit like Moby, actually. I met him at a convention, and Warwick Davis was there as well. But, um, and Warwick Davis is really quite funny. But there you go. Anyway, I digress. Let's crack on. Uh, oh, she sells things. Oh, I imagine you ain't got much. I imagine you've just got loads of alcohol, and that's about it. Yeah, you ain't got much at all. 39% discount at the Lost Hope Bar. That's not bad. Right, let's have a look what we can sell. What do we get for these apples? Mm, fuck all. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Right, I ain't going to bother selling any stuff just yet. I'm just going to continue doing missions for now. I could do with doing some modding, but uh, I'll sort that out later. Right, for now... I'm not going to steal any more stuff from the Groundbreaker. I don't want my rep to go down. How are you doing? Somehow, I always find my way back to the Groundbreaker. What? <laughs> right, you've only been on it once. Right, what the fuck are you talking about? Back to the Groundbreaker. Right, none of this makes sense. Oh, sorry, no, no. The Groundbreaker is this space station, isn't it? I was thinking it was my ship. Oh, uh, right, yeah, so fair enough. Uh, how did you end up on the Groundbreaker? Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. Abandoned at birth in the back bays. You sound like Keanu Reeves trying to act. Right, um... Then you were raised by a pack of sprats, yeah? That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Right, this guy's uh, full of porky Honestly, pies. Before you pick me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. He just sits on the Groundbreaker, watching the ships roll in, and then watching the ships rolling back out again. <laughs> like Reeves and Mortimer. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. Look, this is a bit flirty. Look, I have a hard time believing that you were invisible to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a little look what else we've got here. Right, we'll talk later. We probably won't. You haven't really got very, very many interests. Where's Pav? What the fucking hell are you doing over there? Have you got a job? Jesus Christ, we've been here for five minutes. Right, we've been on this space station for no time at all. She's fallen madly in love with the first person she's met. We walk into a bar and she's got a fucking job. Come on, Pav, we've got shit to do. Leave it, leave it be. I know we need 10,000 bits, but this is not the way to do it. Right, if you want to prostitute yourself, you can do that, but don't work in a bar. The pay is rubbish. Come on, let's go. Oh, I want a fucking keycard to the rest and go. I wonder if I can find one somewhere. Like, in, in, this, uh, in this not box. Hey, dude. I want a keycard. This is Halcyon Noon. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following skill. What's in here? Ooh. Oh yeah, Granny Gladys is in here. Oh, 
I'm so reluctant to steal stuff now that my groundbreaker reputation has been tainted. That's annoying. Right, going back to the ship, guys. And uh, I'm talking to you like in YouTube world. I'm not talking to them. Oh, sorry, mate. Didn't realise that was your bedroom. I thought it was the way out. This is the way out. Right, let's get back on the ship then. Go and have a little chat with our Ada. Oh, hello. This is not very secure for customs. We'll have a chat to the man in customs. Hey there, Captain. Oh, it's you. Anything I can do for you? Oh, I forgot about you. You're a nice guy. Right. Uh, do, do, do. Nope, nothing at all. Be seeing you. See you later. Yeah, I forgot about him. He was very pleasant. Hello. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? You're all very obliging. Right. I wonder what they'll offer me as far as work goes. Let's have a look. Chief Tennyson don't generally hire outsiders for station jobs, but you could try asking at Sublight Salvage. They got an office on the far end of the promenade deck. Anything else I can help you with, mister? No, I can't be fought with that. I'm going back to the ship. See you later. Right, I'm not talking to you. Right. Where's that spaceship they were talking about that was unloading stuff? Do you reckon it's that over there? Does that look like a spaceship? It's bloody small if it is. Look at my spaceship, it's fucking massive. Yeah, check out my spaceship. Make it make you feel inadequate. Right, do you reckon I'll be able to steal this without anyone noticing? They're fucking miles away. There's no way they'll be able to see. Right, I'm having it. Shh. No. Stop fucking shushing. You'll get some one. Did anybody see? No. Right. Ah, get it, get it. Bloody lovely. Nobody saw anything. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Someone's coming. No, they're not. False alarm. Right, so how do we get over there? Doesn't look possible. What's that? It's nothing. Well, they were chatting about a ship that had turned up, but I don't think... I mean, this is like this docking bay just seems to be for me. I don't seem to be able to get to anyone else that's on here, so I'm going to fuck off that and go. There's a box. Mm, it's not really worth it, is it? There's a lot of people knocking around here. Hello! You're the bitch that found me last time, ain't you? <gasps> Look, there's some of them. I need them. Can I shut this door? Yeah, right, that's good. You, you... <clears throat> Bollocks. Right then. No one will see me now. That's better. I want that. I want that little box. Oh, I can't fucking get it. There we go. I use my super duper. Hey, what are you doing? Shut the door. All right, then let's go before anyone sees us. We don't need that tiny box. Howdy doody. If, uh, if you're wondering where your supplies have just gone, it's nothing to do with me. Right, well, uh, we'll get on the, um, the ship, and then we'll call it a day, I think. That's about an hour, just over an hour, hour and four minutes. That's enough. So I'm not going to check the distress signal just yet. Uh, I'm also not going to chat to the vicar about going to find uh, the dude that he wants to find about translating the book. We'll do all of that in the next video. So, I hope you are enjoying these playthroughs, the handful of people that are watching them. What is it, like about five people or something? <laughs> Warning, intruders will be... Oh, it's you. All right, Al Ada. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh... Welcome back, Captain. Cheers. How can I be of assistance? All right. Uh, I want a joke before Sorry, I leave. Captain, what would you like to hear? A joke, a joke, a joke, a joke, a joke. Why was the chemist sad? Because all her beakers are gone. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Cheers, Ada. Right, play me my favourite song before I go to bed.
Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. Cheers, our Ada. You're lovely. Thank you. My pleasure, Captain. Oh, I'm going to bed. Do you want to watch me sleep? As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. Okay. Right, you watch me sleep then. I'll be over here. What we got here then? Right, see you later. Here. I require a functioning captain to run the ship. Nah, you don't. You'll just fucking talk to anybody that says their name's Alex Hawthorne. I bet if Pav said her name was Alex Hawthorne, you'd bloody let her be captain. Right, I am going to bed. And Ada, I'd like you to watch over me and make sure no dirty fuckers get up to anything they shouldn't. While I'm not here. Look at that, I've got a lockpick, my own bloody ship's thing. I wonder what's in there. <laughs> a bloody shit gun. Right then, um, my captain's quarters. Here we are. Oh, I forgot I'd put all that stuff in here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. That's good, it's still in there. Right, and I'm gonna have a little kip, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. Is that? Oh no, there we go. I'm awake already. Right. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.